G'day, welcome to Matt's Workshop. In this video I'm going to show you how to improve the quality of your engraving by adjusting the reverse offset setting on your CO2 laser. The CO2 laser I'm using has a Ruida controller so I'll be using RD Works and Lightburn. You may notice that sometimes when you engrave the first line goes across, the next line is actually stepped in. That's called our scanning offset or reverse offset adjustment. Okay, so in Lightburn I've set up this rectangle at 45mm long, 15mm high, and I've got some text in the middle there. The reason I'm scanning at 600mm a second is because the faster you engrave, the greater the scanning offset. So I wanted to be able to record it and so you can see it. So I don't normally engrave at 600mm a second, but I want to show you this and how to do it for the other speeds that you engrave at. Something to do for this test is actually change your line interval to 0.5 millimeters, and that way you can see each individual line. So let's run this without any scan adjustment and see what happens. So if we have a closer look at that, we can see that it's quite unreadable. So what we need to do is make some scanning adjustments. The way that you do that in Lightburn is go to the Tools menu and look at the device settings here. We need to enable the scanning offset adjustment and add a scanning speed of 600 millimeters a second. We're going to start with a line shift of 0.15 millimeters, and that is the gap between the end of the first line and the beginning of the next, that little offset distance. Now to avoid confusion I've removed all my previous settings from here, we'll just look at one setting at a time. So now we've got our line shift in at 0.15, let's start that job and see what it looks like. So we can see that 0.15 has improved to the scanning engraving a little bit, so what we can do is further adjust this and we'll adjust it for this test at 0.25 millimeters and say OK, OK and we'll start this again and see what the result is. We can see there that it's improved it quite significantly but we can still fine tune it. I'm going to tune it just a tiny bit more and change the scan offset to 0.3 millimeters. So we say OK and we will start this job. So let's have a look at these. This is the first one that we did. This was at a scan setting of zero, so we had made no adjustments and we can see here the scan gap is quite large. And now we move along to the one that we did at 0.15 and we can see it's reduced that scanning gap. And then we moved along to 0.25 and you can see there it's improved quite significantly. And our final adjustment that we made was 0.30. And you can see there that all the lines are lining up along the edge. So this is how you improve your settings for each engraving speed. You'd need to repeat this for, you know, the most common engraving speeds you use, 100, 200, 300, etc. Just something to note, that if you had set this up at 0.30 for 600 millimeters a second, if you changed it to 599 millimeters a second, then the scanning offset of 0.30 is not effective. So the same goes for 601, so it's just that specific speed. Now as I mentioned, this does need to be done for each scanning speed that you use. So the most common scanning speeds I use are 100 millimeters a second, and I calculated on my machine at a line shift of 0.1, so I'll enter that. I also scan at 200 millimeters a second, and the line shift on that was also 0.1. 300 millimeters a second I noticed that it starts to go up a little bit and I've put that in there at 0.11 millimeters 400 millimeters a second uh, is getting closer to 0.25 and then 500 millimeters a second I have tested mine at 0.28 
So these are the settings that I commonly use for my machine and you'd enter those in there. Now this is light burn settings so if we say OK and we just close out of this and go into RD Works we go into config system setting in RD Works and we'd need to enable scanning reverse compensation and we'd need to add these in. So 600 we measured at 0 0.30 and say OK and you have to add these for all the other set scan settings that you use. So if you're in RD Works and you use it as well as Lightburn, you'll have to manually enter these in like I've done here, and then it's saved for this piece of software, and then you've also got your settings saved for Lightburn. But that means that if you do adjust any of these and you find that uh, you're switching between the programs, you'll also have to go into the other program and change it. For example, if I change 600 here to 0 0.29 and say OK, that has been saved in Lightburn, but if I switch back over to RD Works and look at those settings, you'll notice it doesn't affect those settings in RD Works, so you'd have to change it manually. So then of course if you've got everything set, you can now set your line interval back to what you normally have that, and uh, start your normal engraving. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop, I hope you found that useful. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, press the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. And until next time, take care. Cheers.